Hi, my name is Milana Weintrub, and I'm an actress, comedian, performer of sorts, and I'm a refugee. My family came to America in 1989 from the Soviet Union to escape religious prosecution, and we settled in Los Angeles. The only thing I knew that was different between me and my American friends is that my American friends had parents who could help them with their homework. Mine were just figuring out English themselves. So at four years old, I worked as a translator for my parents in exchange for them giving me life. Even though my parents couldn't help me, they always knew someone who had a kid that could help me. So I knew for math, I called Mariana. For biology, I called Joey. For literature, I would actually have to read the book. It was kind of like, like a system that we had. It was a network. It was a community. And as I got older and I met more people, my community kept growing. I learned that my community is actually the world and that the people that you think are so different from you are actually just people that you haven't met yet because when you do meet them, you realize that we're all pretty much the same. We all come from the same ape people. We all are uh, trying to avoid pain, trying to pursue love and pleasure and trying to be safe. I went to Lesbos to volunteer with the refugees last fall, which is a tiny island that's receiving two to three thousand refugees a day. I remember seeing a man uh, get off a raft and touch safe land for the first time in I don't know how long, but he kissed the ground. And it really it made me think about how lucky we are to not have to think about our safety. To wake up and start <laughs> complaining about traffic or taxes or how lucky we are to have our thoughts be consumed by maybe this person doesn't like me or this YouTube video is offensive. <laughs> so many of them are lucky problems. This morning the BBC reported that the number of refugees is over 65 million. million. That's the highest number since the Second World War. 24 people become displaced every minute. They are people that were forced to leave their home. At a time when we have the most civilized, connected, technologically advanced, have the most resources now than of any time in history. So there's really not an excuse besides fear of the unknown. And the unknown is, it's just like us.